What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. That's Mike. I'm Chris. What up, what up? The Walking Dead season finale happened. It was a thing, Mike. It happened. It went down. It was the yeah, thing. Yeah, you seem, you seem very thrilled about this I'm, stuff now. Let's jump into it, bro. Yes. Um, I mean, listen. There I'm going to tell you how I feel. <laughs> tell me how you feel. No, uh, listen. I know a lot of people are a bit um, you unsatisfied. Think you think there's a fence? Yeah, I know that a lot of people are upset about this. I myself could see some of the points, but I still think there was some cool stuff. And I think there's a good buildup for season 10. So I'm not going to, I don't want to knock it. Um, but there were some articles and some uh, channels that were saying how they wanted to kind of copy the Game of Thrones kind of vibe, where the biggest episodes, the one before the, the penultimate, finale. Penultimate, I believe, is what they call that one. Is that what they call that? Pen penultimate, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So, yeah, all right. all right. Let me, let me, let's, all right. The things that stood out for me. Wait, you don't want to know how I felt about it? I do. <laughs> I do. All right, you know what? I'm, I'm apprehensive <laughs> because I know what you're going to say. <laughs> Uh, I right, go for it. Let's let, tell the tell the viewers. Right. Look, bottom line, guys, I yes. was not thrilled. I was not thrilled with the episode. Yes. Like you know, it, it did have its bright points, and let, we're gonna focus on the bright points because, you know, yeah, but, let, bright points. Let's. Bright, what are they? Give me a Does bright point. Like you can. The bright points are if you watched the previous episode and we got hints of the snow and all that kind of stuff. I told you how excited I was about seeing that. Right. Uh, the frozen walkers, I thought, was super cool. Um, in frozen the Telltale, ones were cool. The frozen ones. Yeah. If you if you know about the Telltale game, you've seen them before. It's really cool. The people in the north tend to like the winter time because of the threat uh, decreasing significantly because the walkers are just kind of frozen in place. So, the one thing about um, the walkers I didn't like are, were the ones that were coming out of like the lake ones when the group had to leave Hill to, uh, the kingdom when the kingdom falls and everybody has to cross through Alpha's territory and go across the lake. Then we have these walkers that are submerged in snow but seem to be able to pop right up, which I thought was a little um, strange. Snow, so to, yeah, snow doesn't keep you warm. I, You know, it's funny. I was talking to some coworkers about this today, and they were saying the same thing. It would have been so cool, even with Lydia and when she was super guilty and she's trying to have that one walker that was stuck in the ice or whatever, trying to bite her. Right. Um, it would have been cool if – if we would have saw maybe just hands or maybe like a head was stuck out that you didn't see until you crossed over the yeah, lob or something. Yeah. And then the thing bit at you or you saw it just hands. Looked a little, I, it looked hokey. It was it a little, a little hokey. Ridiculous. And you know, um, th yeah, I, I, I'll go ahead. Yeah, no, the ice cold Walker, the Daryl kill was cool. Um, I mean, it, listen, a lot I, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to cut you off there. I'm yeah. gonna, let's, 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 let's do this. I know Mike was afraid that I was just going to because I texted him after the episode last night and I was like, or whatever, <laughs> Sunday, whatever. And I was just like, you know, yeah. I was very negative. But yeah. look, story wise, it sucks that they had to leave the kingdom because it was coming the whole the whole season, the whole, you know, back end of this season was, are they going to make it? Are they not? They need the trade fair. Then, mm -hmm. it, then it turns out the trade fair didn't didn't work out as planned for them. And but then again, don't forget, you know, Everybody, you know, a bunch of people got killed. That put a kibosh into a lot of things. So it sucks. It sucks to see them having left the kingdom because I enjoyed the kingdom. Um, these past few episodes, I this whole back end of the season, I I've en really enjoyed the king and the queen. You know, even the even the dumb Henry stuff. So I was sad to see that happen. Seeing them make the trek across, wondering if the if the if the the uh, you know. The, the whispers were watching them and stuff. That was that was some tension stuff in there, yeah. and and I and I did enjoy that. You have Ezekiel telling Daryl to step off, you know. Yeah, and Daryl was, was like super 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 threatened by him. Super jump, threatened he's by him. very threatened by him, which is interesting. You know, it's it's just it's interesting because he breaks he breaks character and he talks yeah. to him like you know, mano y mano, but he talks to him with his street street talk, his normal talk. Not his kingly speak, yeah. and I thought that was interesting because it shows a man who who is supposed to be, and we've seen him, right? We've seen him um, vulnerable before, but this shows another side of him where, he, like you said, he's very jealous. Like, meanwhile, yeah. Daryl, honestly, it's, Darryl, it's a total brother sister. Daryl could like, care less. Yeah, it's like not... they, the the king and 
Carol could never have gone through, you know, they didn't go through what Carol and Daryl had gone through. And that's mm-hmm. the whole point. That's yeah. what, that's what I think Ezekiel doesn't understand. So I enjoyed yeah. some of that stuff, but like you said, some of the, and, and, and the frozen zombies were very cool. Yeah. Crossing. I think the, that was, I mean, that was probably the best part of, of, um, you know, just to see snow, to begin with on the walking dead i think After it was nine cool. years it's the been shots you know years, the shots right, yeah. were cool i mean i saw a little thing on talking dead and it was shot with uh, inside a studio so they built they shot the a shot wood right because because yeah, and the snow was made up of many different substances yeah. and yeah, yeah i mean it's 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 interesting they got a company that uh does that stuff for movies and tv mm-hmm. and so you know that company came in and did that stuff uh the blizzard um, in Alexandria, I mean, that was real interesting. That stuff was very, pretty cool. Very, very um, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. You yeah. Know? Very blowy, blustery. <laughs> um, <laughs> the fucking abominable snowman hops up from behind one he, of the houses. Yeah, he, he, he Nancy Kerrigan, Kerrigan uh, <laughs> he, um, Negan. That's that's what yeah. it wasn't debris. It was, it was, it was, uh, it was yeah, the abominable. The abominable snowman came up and him with a lead pipe. <laughs> but that was cool to see. Listen, I mean, obviously, uh, this, which I thought was a little weird, but only a few of the houses had fireplaces and that whole entire thing. I thought it was yeah, a little really like what? And and why were they in a freaking cabin? Like where the hell well, that was, was that house? That was, was one that? of like their the outposts, I guess. I don't know. They, they made, it, made it, it to like the outpost. But, but, so... but then they said, "Oh, we're gonna go to Aaron's." What it? Are you at Alexandria or not? Like I, I think I they missed were, that. but I guess I guess the the houses with the fireplaces were far apart from each other or something. But they, I guess I don't I, know. I don't whatever. know for whatever it was. I think they mentioned three houses. They were in right. one of them, right? And that's where Eugene said that you know everything was clogged and Negan was there and all this kind of stuff. And Negan, of course, antagonizing Gabriel with the quadrangle relationship, whatever he's talking that's about, the fun. baby, and yeah, he's still he's hitting good. below Negan's the belt. Good man, you know JDM does a does a good job. He plays him off. Yeah. And know, for him to go after Judith when they were leaving, um, and you I kind of knew that this, was happening. I, I, you, I could've, yeah, you could have called that. Yeah, you know, you and for no one else to really go spot. after them too, I thought it was a bit weird, but okay. Um, so Negan goes after after Judith. I love that stuff. I mean, he truly, truly cares about this about this kid, and and um, I mean, she, we always we say this countless times every episode. She, I mean, she's adorable. She's great. So for him to to, to find her and to get get uh, back to where they needed to be and him also taking dog i thought was cool it's a big redemption thing i'm, I'm eventually you know i'm seeing uh that's gonna that's gonna happen but let's talk about um michonne when 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 michonne and everybody well wait you know, wait think- before we jump on there i want to go back because i i want to just comment about that quadrangle thing i think it's a very uh. interesting situation that they have there you have you know she's had rosita's having a baby with sadiq meanwhile she's still with gabriel Sadiq's going to be in the picture. Like, it's very weird and awkward. Oh, but we'll the, see. Yeah, but we'll at the see same how they time, play it. Right. You know that there's going to be some, some, there's going to be something between Sadiq and Gabriel because, you know, although yeah. Sadiq doesn't seem that, I think Gabriel's going to have more of a problem with it than Sadiq. But, you know, I just think it's, I just wanted to comment on it. It's interesting. Yeah. It's an interesting yeah. situation that they've written themselves into. And let's hope it doesn't get stupid. Let's just hope it doesn't get well, you. I mean, let's see someone lasts uh, long enough for it to get that way. But and you I know, can see maybe them making let me ask it you. easy. Let me ask to you. Cut one of them out. Do you care? Do you care no, about I that storyline? Really, I yeah. don't care about it. I mean, listen, it's there was one like comment. It's, yeah. There was one comment from Negan, and, you know, and, and Gabriel's like, "We're adults here. This and that. We care about each other. We work." Yeah. You know. So I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, we already mentioned that. In what was that? A few episodes ago, when they when they really blew it up and it came and it came forward, you know, about their little trio thing going on and and Eugene's love for for Rosita. So yeah, I'm not playing that game. I actually thought that maybe one of Rosita may be on the pike. I thought Gabriel yep. could have been one of the ones yep. on the pike. That would have been easy for the writing to um to make it hard on whoever is on there for the for the person. But then I it would have ended. But... That story would have just fizzled itself out. All right, I don't know. Look, let's see. Who cares? But anyway, let's do. Listen, you got a question about Negan. Why don't you ask me that question? Because it's going to lead into what you want to talk about. Oh, uh, so basically, we got let some me questions bring... from some yeah. some of our viewers. So we're going to jump into it because we're, we're all right. 
yeah, let's just move it. Yeah, we, we've been posing questions, if you don't know, after. Thank you for answering, for sending your yes. questions in and stuff, yeah. Uh, this is from uh, Paula Askew uh, on Facebook. Uh, she says, do you think Michonne will finally see another side of Negan and start to try uh, to trust, to trust him, trust again? I'll tell you this uh, much. Yeah. I think she's going to lay her trust in Negan in regards to Judith. I think that she knows he cares about her. I don't think he cares about Michonne, and she knows that. I no. think he, she, Michonne knows Negan cares for Judith, so that therein will begin that trust. Now, you know, you have this, you know, she killed two, like, he, he killed many of their friends and two yeah. in front of them. Like, that's not, you know, can that be something to, that she that's forgivable for her? I don't know, but she does care about her children. So, yeah, you know, anyway, that's where I see that. Like, I think that's a that's an in where the redemption could start. And that's it'll be through Judith. That's my yeah. I, I mean, I, I agree with you really 100 uh, percent. Judith is his safety net. Yeah. You know, Judith is the is the one parent that wants to beat your ass, but then the other parent steps in front of that, you know, right. just so, you know, so it's a protection thing. Um, what else I did. Got? I mean, let's see. Let's see what we got. Uh, da, 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 da. You got something about the walkers? You call me off guard. I know, bro. Uh, da, 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 da. All right. So so let's put this in perspective. So now. Our group that originally left the kingdom, Ezekiel and all them, Carol break up. They're all in, in Hilltop. And oh, now yeah, we didn't mention the Carol break up. Yeah, we have, yeah, we have true, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> we have everybody back. So because of this, um, we have from Gina Jones, are they teasing or setting up what we all hope that carol Daryl relationship um, thing in the future that people have been begging for since season two? Uh, you want to answer that or you want me to answer I mean, I I, per, I think it's short and sweet. No, I don't think so. I think we uh, kind of yeah, said it already. It's like a friendship thing. Yeah. Um, and it shows. Like you said, how, brother and sister. That's a, that was a good way to yeah, put it. Yeah, it shows how much um, Ezekiel is really overthinking the whole situation. Uh, because I don't think he he wouldn't be so upset and tell Daryl to leave if he thought it was could could build to something or something more. So yeah, he's very he, yeah he yeah he. He's, he's thinking he's threatened. Out. He's definitely threatened yeah. by it. But here's the thing that, that you got everybody has to remember about Carol. This is Carol's MO. You know, when things get hard, she runs. And mm-hmm. and you know, she she this is you know, she could at this point I feel like because of Henry, what happened to Henry, she considers this portion of her life over. As yeah. she did with the other with her first you know, with her daughter, and then yeah. she and then with the killing. She's she yeah. separated herself and now it's it's like the third time she's doing it again. Here's mm-hmm. an interesting fact that I'm sure many of you picked up if you do read the comics. So in the comics, Carol is already dead. She dies at the prison. And how she does that is she essentially commits suicide by um throwing you know, having a walker that they had on a chain in like the in, in like the yard of the prison, the basketball yeah. court. She lets that walker bite her. So having Carol be the one that finds Lydia, which, by the way, side note, the Lydia stuff was kind of annoying to me. It was interesting, the whole Walker scene, when, when so again, Carol finds her about to do that as that's Carol's death in the comic. They reverse it, had Carol be the one to find her. So there's a little bit there. Take it for what you will. I'm, you know, that was a bit of the homage, yeah. the homage an, an homage, sorry, to the comic. I get that. Three different ways you said that. I know. Yeah. But uh, the, the, for me, the second time Lydia just like looked in and walked up, I was like, "Damn it, come on!" That second, it was a little overblown, but I did like that first scene where she. The first scene was good because she's a good actor. I didn't feel like it was, you know. Um, you felt the, I. I understood. I, didn't feel like it was I got it. Stirred, no, but I got. You know? I got it. I definitely. She, I definitely was like, "All right, this, this girl is upset, and she. This is all because of her, basically." Yeah. So yeah, I get that. All right. Um. All right. So. Let's see. We got two more. Uh, I mean, pretty much we 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 talked about a lot of this stuff. Um, there's a communication between Judith at the end with Ezekiel in Hilltop. It's kind of cool yeah. stuff. Um, we have a question from Ken H. I have my theories. Who do you guys think is on the radio? What do you think? I don't care. You think it's someone we I, know? I, you don't I, care? I, don't, I, don't I mean, care. I'm gonna be. I'm listen, guys. I'm gonna be. I'm I mean, gonna be completely honest and. 
I kind of don't care. I don't know why. I, I don't give a shit. I and think this you is, should. I think you should because no, that's the biggest. No, that's but how to, they left but it. But to so me, it's not, though. That's the point. To me, here's why. Yeah. You've already introduced the Commonwealth. I'm sorry. Georgie is I don't, from I don't the— think it's, I don't think it's that. Georgie is from the Com. Who the hell else is it? She looked exactly like the, the No, no, I'm not saying Georgie part. I don't think it was the Commonwealth from the comic. But, but that's that, what I'm saying though. Who then who was it Jadis talking for Rick? Is that is it gonna make Michonne is it gonna be Jadis who has who has Rick is gonna and Michonne and that's how why she's gonna leave for season ten? Fine. I don't care. I would have thought that would have been awesome. I don't care. Uh, I'm we sorry. What do you Rick's, think? What if, do you think? I don't care. I mean, it sounded kind of to me like it could be Jadis, and I think it probably will end up being Jadis. I don't think they're going to get to that. I don't think they'd rush us um, for the Commonwealth part of it um, this soon before the Whisper War really ever. But see, that's the storyline that upsets. That's what upsets me is that I understand we're not in the comic, Chris. Yes, I I hear you guys. I know. Yeah. But you're right. They're not could done. It, could, it, could it be Maggie? You know, because Eugene hears, I think, one of the characters over the radio after the Whisperer War is done, and that's the Commonwealth people. But that's so my they, point. Like you, you. So like, that's why I don't think it is. I think that they're gonna. Well, look, it could be a segue for the movies, kind of a thing. We don't know exactly when they're that's gonna fine. come look, out. Or, that's fine. And don't forget, you know, the, the, they weren't even the Whispers weren't even in the area. They don't even know. They've migrated south. You yeah. know, let's you know briefly. Alpha, she feels like she's still not strong enough. Hence. She has her, her, you know, Beta, who they're ve they're very close. I kind of yeah. like their relationship. I, I'm kind of digging their relationship. He's like her loyal, loyal, which is just like how it was in the comics. Again, yes, I know, different medium, but whatever. Um, I just like that from the comics, and they've and they yeah. brought it into the show, so I, I'm appreciating that. But she doesn't feel strong enough, so that's what that is. It's it's self mutilation. It, it's 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 forcing her to become stronger. And harder. Because... I think the group. I think the group also made her feel that way. I, I think that she didn't necessarily realize how strong these people were. Yeah. Um, even though she took out quite a few of them. Listen, we took out a lot more whispers mm -hmm. than they did. Um, uh, you know the the, the survivors. Uh, so that brings us. I mean, listen. Before, quickly. I at first I thought it was Oceanside. That maybe they because they were kind of showing a similar. I'm sure it was probably shot in the same place where they drew Oceanside, and you start seeing the skins oh, where and they were? drying. Yeah, oh, so okay. I'm like, oh shit, did they just like take out the Oceanside people? Oh, okay, yeah. But I mean, we didn't see any proof yeah, of that, so that. I'm not gonna go anything crazy. But before in the last episode, we see Alpha showing Daryl this big herd. So we okay. have a question from right. Phil H. Um, Phil what H. happened with the wisp? Yeah, what happened with the with the Whisperer horde? Are they still stuck frozen, or did they um, migrate with Alpha and the rest of the Whispers? Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, that's a good question. I mean, uh, if I had to guess, I'd say. Mm, well, if I had to guess, I don't. Originally, I was going to say they may have left some people behind to to mill around, but that's like, I mean, like, that's kind of hard for the most. Like, yeah, That's I think bad. they would like, kind I mean, of just freeze in place. If yeah, they thought... I, so if they did leave the horde in, in place, then yeah, they're kind of freezing it in place. Otherwise, then I guess I I would have to say they, they took it with them? Yeah, I mean, I'm going to... I think they kind of took it with them, I guess. you know? <laughs> but, but, but what's interesting is that... See, there's there's a disconnect for me here. Yeah. Last episode, you have this big reveal, and if you, if you cross the boundaries, and th this is what we will be waiting for you, blah, blah, blah... And then mm. the next episode, none, nothing, nothing. They're gone. Where's the herd? Don't know. It's everything's frozen. Like, it was a very like a great. So what happens now? This next time jump is going to be, you know, Angela Kang's confirmed a new time jump, not as big as what we had this season, but it will be a time jump. The snow's going to be just, gone. Maybe just after the winter. So what? Or so they brought them back a few months. Well, that's what she said. It's going to be the the snow's gone. It's it's not yeah. winter time anymore. At least not that. So yeah, I don't know. A little bit of disconnect for me with between this and last episode, you know, and you know, just you know, just to round it out, that's my whole point is this episode, it mm. didn't really do it for me, you know. Unfortunately, I didn't. It, yeah. Again, it had its good moments. I'm, I'm, to thinking about it more and speaking about it, I'm appreciating the story elements more. But some of the stuff, just it, nah, it just it. They've been they've been better, and it's I and it, it's it left tough. me. It left me, man. It left me. It left me wanting. Yeah. But not in a good way. It left me just like unfulfilled. I think so. 
I mean, I, I think I'm a little unsatisfied with it, but yeah. I mean, we got such great episodes and this season, not, you know, I don't want to knock That's it. Why, I don't though, seem like, That's why, though, Mike. That's why. Yeah, this season has this been season, great. Having Rick not there and all this stuff, like, I think they pulled it out. I think they yeah. proved that this could yeah. be a show that doesn't have Rick Grimes in it. But there's still there's still very strong actors on the show. Now let's see oh, what course. happens with that, and and if if people uh, potentially come back. I mean, we did hear you know uh, Maggie's name a couple times in the episode about them sending out um, uh, letters, the council sending out like letters to see and let Maggie know what's going on. So maybe we'll see um, Lauren Cohen back a little bit. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, overall, I did enjoy the episode. There were some things like I had mentioned, but. I think it's still a good setup. I like the Negan stuff with Michonne. I like the Jadis, uh, the the Judith and, and Negan stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of uh, excited to see what what happens next. Okay. So I guess with that, we can call it uh, call it a season, everybody. We're wrapping it up. We're calling it a yeah. season, right? Uh, so yeah, yeah, you guys can check us out, of course, at Third Person Pod on all the social medias. Third Person on Instagram, Third Person on Twitter. You can have a listen to this. You can watch this, excuse me, on um, iTunes. What? Oh, it's up there. I'm like, I thought I did. You actually just point over your head. Point your left hand over your head. Point point over my head like this? Yeah, yeah. Uh, So check us out there. And if you guys like what you see, you know, share this stuff. Um, We want to build up our Walking Dead um, community and and get uh, some of these reviews out there to see what you guys think of us. Not even the Walking Dead. Just share a channel. Guys, if you like this, please. Just tell yeah. a friend, you know, I mean, yes, Walking Dead's over, but there's, there's Into the Badlands, and we do have Game of Thrones coming up, so yes. if you like our channel and you like watching us two idiots talk on YouTube, then tell tell someone, or at least share it on your show, your socials. Doesn't matter how many followers you have, doesn't doesn't matter, just, you know what, anybody, you can help us in any way, just share it, Appreciate share it, that. Yeah, why not? let people know, and yep. I want to say thank you to everyone who, who, who gave us, who sent in questions, mm-hmm. uh, not just to, you know, this episode, but, you know, for the, for the whole season, thank you very much. Uh, and listen, guys, you know, thank you very much. I just, I just want to say thanks. You know, you guys are awesome. Thank, we love you guys. Our community is amazing on our channel. So thank you very much once again. And check out our Badlands stuff because mm. it's damn good. And we have some we really got a lot of cool stuff there. coming. Yeah, go yep. check all that stuff out, please. That's it. That's it. Walking Dead's done, Mikey. Yeah. We'll see you next season for Till October. The Walking Dead. October. Damn. It'll be here before you know it. <laughs>